I have all bad days. I think I need help. I got an anger problem. Contrail Deshaun Golden, professionally known as NBA Youngboy, is a Baton Rouge native rapper who's attracted a loyal following thanks to his uncompromising street narratives. It's not been a long time since he stepped into his 20s, but he's already become a regular fixture on the Billboard charts. You may be aware that throughout his upbringing and career, Youngboy has gotten caught up in lots of illegal and gang-related activities and massive controversy, including relationship woes. In this video, we'll take a closer look at 10 times NBA Youngboy went too far. Before we dive in, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of NBA Youngboy. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 10. NBA Youngboy Performed During a Pandemic We're starting our list from the most relevant controversy in our stormy times. In December 2020, NBA Youngboy hit the stage in Orlando as coronavirus cases continued to rise in Florida. This isn't the first concert to take place during the pandemic, nor is Youngboy the first rapper to perform in a packed audience, but it still received negative responses on social media. The main reason behind the backlash was because of the leaked footage from the concert, which showed audience members not wearing masks. However, the rapper didn't hesitate to get closer and closer to fans and caused a flood toward the front stage. No wonder that Youngboy's behavior was counted as irresponsible. Number 9. NBA Youngboy Accused Baby Mother of Giving Him Herpes Next on our list is Baby Mama Drama. After one of his former flames exposed Youngboy for having herpes, he came clean and admitted that he does have an STD, which he has to live with forever. Not long in coming, he posted an unreleased song titled Truth About Herpes, in which he accused his ex-girlfriend and baby's mother, Janiah Jackson, of giving him the STD. Janiah took to Twitter, claiming that she hasn't got any disease, and threatened Youngboy with dropping evidence. The performer did wrong not only because he didn't wait for papers and falsely accused Janiah, but according to her, Youngboy did it for sales as well. Number 8. Talking About Death Too Much Brutality and honesty may be the things that got the Louisiana native rapper a massive following, but there are still some lines one shouldn't cross. His first eyebrow-raising tweet appeared in 2018, after the rapper began facing legal issues. The tweet said, just need to hurry up and die so this can be over. In April 2020, he posted another alarming message, suicide. The tweets raised concerns about the fan-favorite rapper being suicidal. Besides, the list of his songs about death keeps growing. The list includes Death and Claimed, Overdose, Traumatized, R.I.P., and Not Wrong Now, on which the artist lets listeners know that he'll die before Christmas. Number 7. He's got strict rules on set It's not so surprising to hear a lot of celebrities having diva attitudes on set. Fans were shocked after finding out that Kentrell may be one of them. Youngboy is noticeably shy, while giving interviews or being spotted by paparazzi. Complex Magazine reported one interesting incident when the artist was waiting to get his iconic shape-up haircut. The rapper's plan fell apart after the barber tried to sneak a selfie without Youngboy's permission. Baton Rouge MC refused to work with the barber, so a substitute was called to take his place. Eventually, the replacement didn't show up, so the Baton Rouge native left the studio without a goodbye. Number 6. NBA Youngboy's Reaction to Yaya Mayweather Stabbing His Baby Mama The rapper's had his fair share of jail time, but in this instance, it's his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Yaya Mayweather, who got legal troubles. Yaya, the daughter of professional boxer Floyd Mayweather, got into the heated argument with Youngboy's then-girlfriend LaPatra. Things turned physical, and Yaya stabbed LaPatra with knives. Reportedly, the fight was over Youngboy, but he doesn't seem to take responsibility for it. Instead, he took to Twitter and posted that he's feeling blessed and called Yaya unprofessional. But Yaya wasn't the only Mayweather who got insulted by the rapper. NBA Youngboy got on Instagram Live and referred to Floyd disrespectfully. Jokingly or not, fans got concerned for him. Not to mention a few months ago before the incident, when Youngboy called Yaya out for being drunk in the club, after she professed her love for him. Number 5. Cooperating with Police You may have heard about Kodak Black and NBA Youngboy trading shots after Kodak accused Youngboy of cooperating with the police during the recent stabbing incident in his Houston house. The feud between rappers was rumored not once, but it became official after No Flockin', rapper reacted to authorities' claim that Youngboy was allowing the police to conduct a full investigation. Kodak Black criticized him for doing Ya Ya wrong. He also wrote in the comments of a celebrity gossip Instagram post that Youngboy looks scared of being charged. The rappers exchanged more words on social media, and Youngboy called the Florida native rapper clout chasing. Number 4. Youngboy kicked his mother out of the house 
During an Instagram Live session that surfaced online, Youngboy's mother Sharonda claimed the artist kicked her out of the house he bought for her. Apparently, the rapper tried to boss his mother around. She made it clear that she's not the type anyone can rule. Sharonda didn't completely trash her son. She took a moment to praise his music and called him one of the best rappers. However, this wasn't their first online fight. Southern rapper, who grew up with his grandmother, admitted in his Instagram Live that he didn't have a mother in his life. This caused a beef between mother and son. Number 3. Physically Assaulting His Baby Mama NBA Youngboy's relationship woes are never-ending. Youngboy was arrested in February 2018 for allegedly assaulting and kidnapping ex-girlfriend Janiah Jackson, the same girl he accused of giving him herpes, and the girl whose name he got inscribed above his eyebrow. Surveillance footage allegedly shows Youngboy body-slamming Jackson. Further reports claim that the rapper forced her to sleep in a hotel lobby so he could hook up with another lady. Jackson has taken to social media to state that she wouldn't have stayed in a relationship in which she was being abused, but she could not directly address the alleged evidence found in the room, including the blood. Eventually, MC copped a plea deal and avoided jail. Number 2. NBA Youngboy was involved in a Miami shootout One of the most fatal incidents of Kentrell's criminal history is the Miami shootout. The incident took place in May 2019, in the afternoon, on the road in front of the Trump International Beach Resort. Reportedly, gunmen fired on NBA Youngboy and several of his associates. Legally armed members of his entourage returned fire, which resulted in killing a bystander. Other victims were Galden's 19-year-old girlfriend, Kay Marie, and a 5-year-old boy, who was also struck by a stray bullet. Luckily, they were able to be treated. Number 1. NBA Youngboy has officially been charged in shooting G-Money We've come to the most horrific part of our list. Youngboy has been indicted on a second-degree murder charge, in connected to a G-Money shooting, which took place in September 2017. G Money was a member of the Top Boy Guerrilla Group, and he and Youngboy grew up together in Baton Rouge. The feud between friends wasn't secret. Additionally, Youngboy kept talking trash in his songs about G Money after his death. Youngboy was facing a mandatory life sentence if convicted. It turned out that Youngboy, who claimed to be in Hammond that day, was in fact in Baton Rouge. Let's hope he didn't have any involvement in this situation. And that brings us to the end of today's video. What are your thoughts on NBA Youngboy? Are there any other facts that we missed out on that deserve a spot on this list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching, until next time.